Something bad is happening to honeybees. Their numbers in the United States have been plummeting for three years. There are colonies dying and there are too many colonies dying and we have to figure out how to stop that mortality, I think. Beekeepers from nine states and three countries came to West Virginia in July to get the latest word on a mysterious plague called Colony Collapse Disorder, or CCD. An awful lot of the time they'll look at this foundation. This Millions of bees are suddenly disappearing, and nobody knows why. Experts say they must have a very good reason for abandoning their hives. Those bees are leaving because they know they're sick, and so it's altruistic suicide. Collapsed hives often have a queen and young bees, and even plenty of honey, but no workers. And it's those workers who pollinate about one-third of the food we eat. Is there a pathogen involved? Is there a pesticide involved? Or is there an environmental stress, like poor nutrition or genetics involved? One theory, a pesticide used to control mites in hives could be making bees vulnerable to a deadly and highly infectious paralytic virus that can wipe out a bee colony in just a few days. Commercial beekeepers say farm chemicals are contaminating the pollen bees bring back to the hives, and that is what's making them sick. And the bees that are going to the agricultural crop are, are collapsing, and the ones that are, are left in, in areas where they're not exposed to these things seem to be fine. In 2003, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency approved a new pesticide called clothianidin. It's very effective, even in small amounts, but it stays in the soil for years, and lab tests show it can be a thousand times more toxic to bees when mixed with certain fungicides. The Natural Resources Defense Council has filed a lawsuit to require the EPA to release its findings on this widely used pesticide. EPA needs to pull its head out of the sand and take a look at these mixtures of toxic pesticide chemicals that bees and us are exposed to on a daily basis. While scientists are trying to find what's causing CCD, backyard beekeepers and big commercial pollinators continue to suffer heavy losses. You girls okay? Oh yeah, we got some good cap stuff right here. To stay in business, this Tennessee beekeeper has raised the price of his honey by a dollar a bottle. After three straight years of heavy losses, some big operators face bankruptcy. It's devastating. That's, that's a Katrina-like uh, experience for a beekeeper. David Mendes spends much of the year on the road. In July, his bees work the cranberry bogs near Cape Cod, where farmers fight an unending battle against worms and weevils. That's the worm. Cranberry growers spray for bad bugs before Mendes brings his bees and after he leaves. There are times when we might spray when they're here. If it's something that was really serious we had to spray for, we'd ask them to take them out. Hello? Mendes stays in touch with some 200 cranberry growers who rent his bees. Thank you very much. I appreciate it because um, this, you know, this whole spray thing, it's, I'm just trying to stay away from it, Eric. I appreciate oh, no, it. I completely understand the serious situation. Yes, it is. Th thank you very much. Well, I'll be in there tonight. The way these products are designed is they attack the nervous system. They affect feeding behavior. They create memory loss and they impact the immune system. If the bee populations continue to decline at the current rate, this could be a national disaster, potentially international for the food supply because it's happening in other places. The federal government needs to invest some serious money in taking a look at this problem and finding solutions. When they're finished pollinating, Mendes takes his bees to the woods. He feeds them well to clean out their systems and get them ready for winter. His bees seem healthy, and unless they suddenly disappear, You'll be back to the cranberry bogs next summer. For Assignment Earth and On Earth magazine, this is Gary Stryker.